steady, go. Hi, hello and welcome people. I'm your host, Rohit Sharma and you're watching Freedom Farming English Channel. Today, I've come to a person, so Venkat, who's going to explain us about this big drone you see over here. I think it can even carry me. But let's see. Let's check out what Sir has to say about it. Hi, Venkat, Sir. How fine, are you? Fine, fine. Thank you. How are you, Rohit? I'm good. I'm good. Sir, can you please tell us why is the drone so big and what are it, what is it about? So Rohit, actually, so you know, like the drone technology is uh, day by day emerging in uh, different sectors. Like like people are people are going with it is like the drone taxis as well as the logistic drones and everything. So the drone, what you're seeing here is it is specifically called uh, prepared with an objective to serve the Indian agriculture. Actually, wow. okay. So the drone, what we are presenting here is the industry's uh, uh, the best drone with the highest specifications. Now you know, like in agriculture, major problem is. Uh, uh, the manpower so with this drone we can mitigate all the manpower problems so these are getting faced by the farmers okay so that a farmer can uh, can utilize this drone for the pesticide or fertilizer spraying in his own field uh, uh, within a very short span so for example with manpower with the nax nax app or like back sprayer or any portable sprayer it will take hardly one one and a half hour that means like it is around 90 minutes to cover one acre of the land so with the drone it will take hardly six to ten minutes to cover the one acre land with with more efficacy and and so that the farmer can reduce the cost of cultivation also cost of inputs also drogo drones are basically into they are into uh, survey and surveillance drones and all so they came up with a specific drone which serve agriculture uh, with the higher specifications so that the drone can run more time in the air uh, uh, air so with the same efficiency the farmer can work uh, longer periods like uh, like he can cover five to six acres with one one battery charging and all wow yeah there are a lot of companies who, who are working in the agriculture sector the major sks of the drone is uh, there are three things one thing is the battery size so usually in the industry if you see the batteries are 16000 20000 20000 mh okay but drogo drones we are giving 30000 mh battery with one charge or one cycle of charge it's going to give around five acres spraying so that the farmer can save the time on charging and all okay and second thing is like the k plus plus flight controller which is the highly stable which can be operated very easily very stable in the outdoor conditions where the agriculture spraying is going to happen third thing is like the centrifugal nozzles and the drone how the way we constructed it is suitable for the field crops row crops and the and the plantation crops like big trees and big trees and all also unique uh, drone it is called krishi 3 pro in the agri industry it is definitely going to create revolution in the uh, regular farmer lives and agriculture. Oh my god, that was just mind blowing. I'm just shocked at this moment. I don't know what to speak. But guys, being honest or not, I've never seen a such big drone. And sir, if you don't mind me asking, what are the subsidies government is providing on this? So like now you see, uh, if you see the uh, ground the line two years back, there are very limited drone companies who are working in the agriculture sector and all. So after DGCA, like Director General of Civil Aviation, actively participating and giving the approvals to so many people, because of uh, Prime Minister Modi announced the drone DD program. So now, now Modi wanted to make 15,000 self help groups. That means, like the, the, the women who are wanted to become an all entrepreneurs. So he's going to give the drones on subsidy to them. So, so that we have tied up with the central governments to train them, to give the drone to them. We make them, we make them self sufficient money to, to enrich their lives and all. So in that way, like still the central government is working on the drone DD program. The subsidies are, it, is, it is varies from the state to state. For example, Bihar government is giving around 40-50% subsidy. UP government is giving around 40-50% to 50 subsidy. Karnataka, Tamil Nadu still they have to announce. But but case to case, like uh, under the PMGUI schemes, under AIG schemes and all, interest subsidies, all the things are there in the government. Whereas if any customer wanted to buy the drone directly from us, so we are, we are giving at the best price along with the training how to run the drone how to make how to make his uh, uh, business profitable we prepare the business case for him we arrange the loans for him from the banks for the six percent interest amazing sir i am just so excited right now that i want to fly this drone <laughs> i wish even i got some subsidy on this but anyways coming back to the topic sir subsidy part is really good what you mentioned like 40 50 percent subsidy on one drone is really a good one so farmers you can actually use this sir are you even training farmers on this is the government training? Yeah, yeah, right. So the thing is, we have as of now we have trained more than 450 to 500 pilots who are the individual pilots actually. Amazing. So this is rather than going for any farmer buying the drone, simply keeping it home. So what we give the offer the package to the farmer is we give 10 days training to the farmer how to run that drone. And we encourage village level entrepreneurs, the people who did engineering or graduation agriculture, or some guys might have completed plus two and sitting at home idly. 
so they can simply buy this drone with a good amount of price and, and we train them how to make it a business model and in some areas like for example ap telangana we are developing entrepreneurs uh, by giving the acreage to them like we have tied up with the farmers who develop own own application so farmers will raise the spraying services module so that like we can we can divert the same route route the business to the this entrepreneur so that he will not facing any problem to uh, searching for the field and all he can generate monthly income of 2.5 lakhs after all the expenses the major part he is going to save is not more than 1.5 lakhs so for a village level guy for the period of 180 days to 260 days okay saving 1 lakh rupees per month is not the simple thing actually yes so actually we are, yeah, we are encouraging these village level entrepreneurs who really interested in this thing and all why because drone operation is like simply operating like toy the only one thing he has to see is like where he is working in agriculture fields and all so he should he should be aware of how the pesticides fertilizers can be sprayed and all there is the only one component we are giving training to them and we give the license to them also so any person who wanted to fly any type of drone which is more than 8 to 10 kg so he should have a license called rpto license without that license he is not supposed to operate the drone also even so we train them we give the license we made them their own entrepre- enterprise in the village level superb i think i should also be a farmer now because i am excited to fly this amazing drone so sir when you started this what are the challenges you faced and how many customers have you made till now as drogo is uh, very much familiar with the different types of drones but as agriculture drone we have started working last one and a half year back only so after 2 to 3 years of research we came up with a with a fine tuned drone uh, which gives high efficacy and high battery life actually so the initial problem what we face is the price of the drone so uh, when we are saying that the price of the drone is 7.5 lakhs including all package so many people used to say that yeah i can purchase a car of tata punch is coming for 5.6 lakhs and right. and maruti car is coming for 6 lakhs and all so it is again the use case actually so we used to we used to explain them what the business model how you can make money and we told them that we are arranging the loans from the banks also with the 6% interest is very less actually so the the, the acceptance is at present around 10 to 12% everyone is asking for the subsidies discounts and all so we are working with different governments also uh, by explaining the facility and all we are meeting minister of agriculture and and chief minister of different states wow so now we are trying to enable even though the drone price bit high because like uh, any drone company is not making more than around 8 to 10% of uh, margin on this way because like you know the unit scale of economy like we are we as of now we sold around 120 drones like that okay we met more than more than 1000 customers over there we are getting orders from different states as the state government themselves they are implementing these uh, programs as the drone is bit costlier so now if the sale or if the acceptance of the farmers will grow automatically the drone cash will come down again it is it is rule of economics that when you increase the items or when you increase the number of things and the drone cash will be drowned right we are expecting at least each and every mandal should have two to three drones to serve the indian agriculture so that is the highest feasible thing so that uh, like the drones can be spread everywhere with the uh, with the proper service and all guys i literally have no words but what he said right now is just mind blowing and i am so excited right now that i want to fly it i don't know sir can it carry my weight no actually you see these are the agriculture drones actually so the drone weight is around 29 kg it it will carry up to 15 to 20 kg weight so as already we have fixed the 10 liter tank which serves the one acre spray So, like the the payload is payload is much lesser here. If we increase the motor weight and everything, so definitely now now the drug is working on a drone taxi model. They were working with uh, we had tied up with uh, different uh, aeronautical uh, giants actually. So the project might be around 2026, 2027, 2028. We are working on that. If that is the case, so that payload will increase up to 200 uh, kgs. Amazing. So, uh, as of now, no company is working on this model. So still, like we are exploring different opportunities to go ahead. Actually, sir, I am actually excited and waiting as well that one day I will use the drone and fly. <laughs> Anyways, kidding, guys. It was really good meeting you, Venkat, sir, and thank, thank you. you so much for this. Thank you, Rahul. Thank you. For more such tips and tricks and exciting news, keep watching Freedom Farming English. Happy farming.